growing up, we lived in a household where there was not really any question of whether we or I was empowered or not. It was simply a way of being. We were simply a, a family where uh, we, we all worked to be the best we could be, and there was an expectation that we would be that way. Yeah, I, I'm interested in the empowerment question because I think, at least as you do, that it was pretty natural. Uh, I guess looking back on it, I treated you always as an adult, even when you weren't one. And, uh, and I don't think I tried to impose my prejudices on you. I tried to respect who you were from, uh, uh, from very early days. I don't think you have any prejudices. <laughs> I, think, I, I really think that that's a huge part of it, too, that you had no natural prejudices. And so um, there were none to pass on. And so it was simply expected that um, you know we, we would all uh, be good people. I would be a good person. And you'd always did treat me like um, like, and I, not even as an adult, so much as a person who had uh, opinions and interests um, and an intelli intelligence level of my own. And I was welcomed. I was welcome to share those opinions. In fact, it was kind of a prerequisite in our family to have opinions. Even if only defensively. Yeah. <laughs> I think also there was an advantage to our bringing you into our life. Uh, as much as we could. That couldn't be done all the time, but uh, looking back on it, we imposed on you a lot to uh, be part of the, the lives we were leading, both your mother and me. Uh, but I think that probably gave you a sense of ease and access, and uh, probably no sense of um, uh, insecurity. You felt you could go forward and do things. That's a very important point, the no sense of insecurity. Um, that's partly because, and mostly because, you and Mom uh, always uh, made me feel that I could be and could do whatever I chose and there was simply no um, there was just no question about that fact in fact I, re there, I remember there was no question about whether I go to university or not I don't I think I was 18 before I realized that there was an option other than university because we just always talked about it as when you go to university I but never heard about that option. <laughs> <at university. laughs> The, uh, you know, you talk about the exposing me to the wider world as well and traveling around the world and seeing how other people lived, um, uh, sometimes in great poverty, sometimes in great sorrow, sometimes in tremendous wealth, uh, was a huge eye-opener as a child as well. And it, was, um, it wasn't until I was, you know, in my early teens uh, that I truly realized how fundamentally my own upbringing was from other girls around the world where I had parents who never established any difference between me or a boy. It's lucky I was an only child. I mean, I'm the only girl. But, um, but I think that was important. Yeah, I think back to the relative narrowness of the world uh, I grew up in, in that we didn't know that there were people who weren't like us. And I think one of the things that uh, happened because of the way you were raised is you were always conscious that uh, that there was variety, that uh, I don't like to use the word equality, but that there was equality among people. And I think that probably is a very good preparation for the world you, uh, you went on to encounter. But I hasten to say we didn't do that deliberately. <laughs> there wasn't a plan. Uh, and I think that's important often because people assume that there is a way to do things, not that one size fits all, but that uh, if you have a plan, it will work, it will be followed. And I think our plan was to be respectful of uh, one another. We didn't articulate it that way. But I think you're right, we were able to uh, act that. I think the other uh, fundamentally important element for me um, was that you've always been a pragmatist and an optimist. And I think sometimes parents may underestimate uh, how important that is for their kids. All of us have glass half full days. But when you have a, a, a fundamental influence in your life, that in my case, um, it was you who always saw the best of every situation and who tried to um, encourage me to do to approach life that way as well. Uh, that makes a big difference in how you see the world, how you treat the world, how you um, interact with people around you. And um, that's always been a very important, um, uh, that was an important life lesson for me. Sometimes on the way home I had to sort of stop and uh, fill up the empty glass, or at least make it half full so we could maintain the illusion.
but I think there's no question that the attitude that people have towards one another in the small universe of a family uh, manifests itself in uh, the larger groups we all enter. I think you probably empowered me so that you could make sure I got out of the house and got a job, moved away, moved out. I looked after me. That would be great. That would be great.